That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you're holding H bar, I'm gonna need you to put both fists up in the air and punch this FUD right in the face. Cause I can tell you, this has nothing to do with us. You can see on the year we're up 33%. That's a beautiful number. Yes, the last month, last week, and the last 24 hours have been painful, but there are a number of reasons why. This video is gonna be very short, guys, very straight to the point, because like I said, this has nothing to do with us. You may be familiar with an exchange called Mount Gox. Now, if you haven't heard of Mount Gox, this was one of the most popular Bitcoin exchanges from back in the day. As a matter of fact, it was the exchange that can be credited as putting Bitcoin on the map. However, there was a huge problem in relation to some unregistered money, drug trafficking, dark web, things like that, that essentially resulted in a major lawsuit. Someone went to jail for quite a long time and there were a group of people, large number of people, who are set to receive a payout because of this whole situation and it does total to $9 billion. Now, if you've been in the space for a minute, you know $9 billion, it ain't much. But we have a lot of newcomers here. And this number is definitely scaring a lot of people. The fear and greed index as of this morning was at 38. That's a lot of fear. So what I want to do is kind of quell some of those fears because, guys, this is going to be shaky. It's going to be shaky for a little bit of time. But in my reading, I found some information that should bring us some solace. Let me share this with you. So in relation to the Mt. Gox situation, they are beginning to distribute over $9 billion worth of Bitcoin to the creditors involved in this lawsuit. And according to reports, it states in late June, the defunct Bitcoin exchange announced that it would begin distributing over $9 billion worth of funds in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and fiat to its creditors in early July. This significant payout amounting in $9 billion is expected to add substantial selling pressure as the market absorbs the additional BTC. This is coming from market analyst Rachel Lucas. So this is the biggest reason, I believe, that the market is going in the direction that it's going. So if you're looking at your Hedera bag right now and you're wondering, OK, what's going on with the foundation? What 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 happened in the community? Did something go wrong? No, this is Bitcoin's problem. We're going to have to get through this to get to where we're going. But what I find to be interesting about the timing of this, folks, is where this all is set to end. Because another article was posted this morning, courtesy of the block, Mt. Gox creditors may have to wait up to three months to receive their Bitcoin. Three months from now is October. Now, if you've been watching our portfolio videos, you know we're eyeing October as the sweet spot because every year for the last four years, and I'll show you right here, we pumped in October. Last year, 27%, 2022, 13%, 21, 40%. Uh, in 2020, it was another 20%. So let me share this timeline with you that was also listed in the documentation. The trustee has previously detailed that the timeline for payouts to become visible in creditors' accounts may vary depending on the exchanges. Kraken is given 90 days to process payouts, while Bitstamp may take up to 60 days. BitGo will have payouts visible within 20 days. SBI VC Trade, yeah, interesting name there, isn't it? And BitBank will both complete payouts within the next two weeks. If we take this timeline and we go with that 90 days that Kraken has been given, that takes us to October 5th. This is an election year. I will guarantee you folks, by the time we get to October, it's going to be green skies because Bitcoin, even if it stays, even if it dips below 50K and we touch 48, 49, a 40% move from there is still $80,000 per Bitcoin. And we already know that's a new all time high. I believe that would make two in one year. The market is going to go crazy. People are going to go crazy. That money is going to flow into Bitcoin first, Ethereum, then the rest of the alts like Hedera. And we're going to be OK. That's genuinely how I'm seeing this. It, it, and all it took was for me to read this article, folks. And on the other hand, speaking of governments, U.S. Germany have sent 738 million in Bitcoin to exchanges over the last couple of weeks. 
So we got Germany selling a large amount of Bitcoin, which is fairly new, but the United States has been selling Bitcoin and Ethereum for a number of years now. The increased frequency in selling may be of concern here, but I personally believe it's all tied into this election season. I, I, I genuinely do. In 2020, and you can find this clip on Instagram, it's an early account for Digit Hustle News back in the day, but I said it. November of 2020, Bitcoin would set a new all-time high. It broke 40,000 for the first time in history on November 1st. So again, I want to quell your fears with the knowledge and the perspective that I have after being in this market. This is my third bear cycle, if you want to call it that. I still believe we're in a bull run, but I've, I was here in 2022, ladies and gentlemen. I was here in 2020. I've seen this market shake. And I can tell you just by reading this paragraph, this this is a wobble. The market is going to wobble and newcomers are going to take this as a big, big problem. But the OGs, listen up, the veterans, listen to me. We know what's going to happen here. We got this. So I genuinely feel there's no need to really worry, especially if you're holding Hedera, folks. Let me remind you of the commodity that we're holding on to. When it comes to real time transactions and shout out to DaVinci Graph, very excellent platform on Hedera you should take a look into. Hedera's top of the list when it comes to real time transactions, transaction speeds. I was looking at another dashboard that has just been posted for Hedera. If you go to coin market cap, as a matter of fact, let me show you this really quick because this was very interesting. Discovered this last night. It's very new. Dragonglass because and I'm gonna make a point to share every one of these that I find because there's not that many out on Hedera but this is fully Hedera hash graph focused gives you NFTs transactions number of accounts detailed data since open access everything guys and even though the market is being destroyed right now we we still have had almost 3,000 accounts created just in the last 24 hours on Hedera more than 400 NFTs minute and over 130 million transactions. Now we can get into the weeds about what types of transactions those are. They provide a little bit of data down here. A lot of it is taking place on Hedera's consensus service, but that's utility, that's activity and it's healthy. Now, again, top of the list for transaction speeds. This chart has been circulating more recently. Thanks to sentiment, Hedera remains on top of crypto's development activity leaderboard, ladies and gentlemen, passing heavyweights like Chainlink, okay? The same Chainlink that essentially brought every government CBDC on the same network. We're on top of Optimism, internet computer who just linked up with the United Nations, which was a shock. So it, there are several things to still be excited about in this market, to be enthused about in this market. Take a look at this, courtesy of Colin Brown, XRP. He's got XRP in the name, but he does a lot of uh, digging on several of the altcoins that we follow. This particular post coming from Sweden's Risk Bank, they're detailing uh, the research that they gathered from retail CBDC studies. And they mention Algorand here, and they also mention Hedera on this page. They say most of traditional permissionless blockchain systems with comparatively large numbers of validators running full nodes that verify every transaction demand comparatively low powered hardware. For the permissioned system, i.e. Hedera, which constitutes a high TPS system and characterized by a small number of nodes maintains consensus, the network performance is determined by the lowest performing validator node. Therefore, to achieve a postulated maximum throughput, highly performance server hardware is demanded by the network operator. So this is basically highlighting Hedera's node infrastructure as being perfect for what they're looking to do. And we already know every time it, I don't know any other network that has processed nearly, what did this say? 60 billion transactions, 60 billion, ladies and gentlemen. There's got to be some value to that. And again, we can, we can we can argue all day about what types of transactions they are, whether they're succeeding or failing. One thing that concerned me about Stellar is when I looked at their ledger uh, dashboard, there was a lot of transactions that did not go through. And people were giving Solana crap about that. Solana wasn't the only one dealing with that. And on top of that, that data 
I don't see for Hedera. And when I did find it, the number of failed transactions was very low by comparison. So again, so much to still be excited about. Let this market wobble. I'm not gonna tell you whether to buy or sell. I would just suggest if you've been here for a short amount of time, don't let this scare you. If you've been in a position more than 12 months and you're up anything over your principal, if it were me, yeah, I'd take a couple of dollars out. It's only smart. You don't want to be married to these assets. You don't want to get married to this market because that's how people hold too long. And all of a sudden you're up 100K. Now you're down 75. I don't want that to happen to you guys. And then check this out. News that still has not been uh, sufficiently appreciated. So what we're looking at right here, guys, courtesy of Valor and Hedera in Frankfurt, Germany, there is a new exchange traded product on Hedera. And you can see they went full steam with this press release, folks. This is at their Dutch Bor Stock Exchange. Forgive me if I mispronounced that. But you can see, guys, signing ceremony, opening bell. They did not mess around with this. So while the rest of the market is going crazy, losing their minds, ladies and gentlemen, what we hold is doing just fine. Yeah, there are things that need to be addressed, and I promise you it's going to get addressed. But there are several things to be excited about. Hey guys, I got a quick message for you. Let's say you're looking to buy some crypto, like the ones mentioned in this video. Consider using our crypto exchange partner, Uphold. With Uphold, you get access to more than 200 crypto assets through its simple to use trading platform. Uphold has been around more than a decade, so it is a name you can trust. With over 2 billion in reserves and 44 billion in trading volume, I've yet to lose a trade on Uphold. To the more experienced investor out there, Uphold also has a line of precious metals and national currencies for more diversification. For me, I'm having fun using Uphold's baskets tool. Uphold lets us set aside a certain amount of money to invest in different sectors of crypto. With one click, you can diversify into the big three, meme coins, or the financial assets like Hedera, Stellar, and XTC. But listen, crypto assets are very volatile and it is always best to manage your risk and do your own research before using any platform. I recommend Uphold because before I was an affiliate, I was and still am a user. So if you use the link below, it helps support the channel. I wanna thank you in advance. Now let's get back to the video. When it comes to Hedera. So really didn't want this video to be too long, guys. Not much needs to be said. As someone who has been in this space for a while, these events affect me less and less. And if you're rocking with me and you're rocking with this channel, I want you to build up that same resistance because this is going to happen. These markets are going to go up and they're going to come down. And when they come down, it is oftentimes harder than to move up because we're still a young market. There's still a lot of awareness that needs to go out there. So with that, that's all I got for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I want to thank you for joining us. The link down in the pinned comment. Make use of some of our channel affiliates. And now it's time for the best part. If that money is digital, so is the hustle.